Hello again folks, today we'll tackle the updating process for the Voxnail Moonlight Kit. Let's get on with it. Cadex has initially provided instructions on how to update the Voxnail Moonlight VTX. One thing you'll notice here is that Moonlight uses a different file name unlike what we used to have in the older VTX units. The procedure is somewhat similar as before, but there are also special instructions indicated, such as the need to use an update cable for connecting the VTX and the DVR board, and having the update file reside on the SD card. To proceed with the update process, you just need to copy this update file that Cadex provided to the root of our SD card. Be careful not to rename the update file as it may interfere with the update process. Also, make sure that there's only one update file in the SD card. You don't need to reformat the card, by the way. Next, we need to put the SD card back to the Moonlight VTX module and plug in the update cable. Make sure that you plug the update cable correctly. That is, the white bar should be closest to the port where you see this white dot marking. Then, connect the other end to the other port. You can verify here that the white wire on the cable is aligned with the white dot marking. This implies that you connected it correctly. Just like before, we need to supply power to the Moonlight VTX module, either by connecting it to a battery or to a flight controller setup like this test bed. Plug the supplied UART connector to the Moonlight kit and the other end to the flight controller. After establishing the wiring, we can now plug in the LiPo battery to our flight controller to power up everything. I'm assuming that you have plugged the antennas before you proceed with the update process. Give the setup a little time to boot up until the Moonlight kit gets powered. Immediately, you'll see the LED indicators turn green, one solid and one blinking. As per instructions, we need to press the bind button for about 8 seconds or until the LEDs turn off. I used a small allen wrench to get the button pressed. You will see that the colors of the LED as well as the pattern changed. This indicates that the Moonlight Kit has initialized the update process. At this point, you don't have to do anything but to keep the Moonlight's kit power uninterrupted while the update proceeds. After about 10 seconds, both the LEDs will turn off and after which the DVR LED indicator will start blinking followed by the VTX LED indicator with the sequential blinking pattern. Notice how the blinking patterns change all throughout the update process. After a couple of blinking sequences, the DVR LED indicator will change to solid blue, which implies that the update was successful. The Moonlight Kit will perform an automatic reboot to complete the update process. Upon reboot, the LEDs will change to green with this pattern. Congratulations, you have completed the update process. The entire process took about 45 seconds to finish. You may now remove the power and also do not forget to unplug the update cable. Be careful not to lose this small cable. If you haven't performed binding with the goggles or VRX module, you may now do so. The process is the same as before anyway. This concludes the video for today. Thanks again for taking your time to watch this one and happy flying.